Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Recoded. Last time we left off, we finished uh, the world of Wonderland, and now we are in the Olympus Coliseum. And it's here where things are going to get a little bit different. Actually, pretty interesting as well, if you guys are traditional RPG players. And they also introduced like, the whole aspect of going back to previous worlds that we've already completed. And I'm just going to show like just show the options real quick. If you go in, in the save menu, you can go to the option to select a world. And here it's going to tell you there's a quest exploration, which uh, you choose any worlds you've been to before, and you can find hidden quests, or hidden system sectors, or just simply battle the heartless. Or you can replay the episode from like from the story and grab any blocks you mix, missed or whatever, or score attack, just, you know, get a higher score for the boss stage. So as you can see on the right there, you know, they, they tell you how many prize blocks you've gotten, how many quests there are, System sectors, um, SP, all the rewards are claimed. There's all that, um, and also uh, there's also the hidden system sectors. So I think like in Destiny Islands, there's like two of them, and like there's like so many in other worlds. So I don't think they're going to actually list those. But uh, yeah, but we have quests, and the issue is quests are pretty much like, hey, I need this. Could you help me find it? And either you buy them from uh, or SP rewards, or they're in the hidden system sectors, which you really can't even find unless you have a higher level scan. And I believe you just need to keep unlocking the abilities to get a higher level scan. I can't remember exactly how you up, uh, level it up, but that's how you do it. So, um, there's really not much we can do unless later on we'll actually upgrade my abilities and whatnot. So, well, that's what you that's what you can do. I'm not really sure if I'm going to show it off because i never I never done so before, but we'll see how things go. Let's we'll just go ahead and continue our start with this uh, world now. Ugh, this is a nightmare. What's taking him so long? What's taking who so long? It's the champ! First these stupid blocks and and now he's gone and... And why am I telling you this to a squirt like you? First of all, the name's Sora. Second of all, you gotta tell somebody, right? Ah, yeah, good point. Well, just look around. I got nothing against new architecture, but these things gotta go. And you should see the inside. The champ? Hercules went in to investigate ages ago. What? He hasn't come back yet? That's terrible. I better go in there and see what's up. No dice, kid. The entrance is blocked. But then, that's obvious, right? It takes some kind of hero to get in. But all I see is me and some... Oh, there you go. Kid? How did... Hey, look, it's a keyhole already. I'm gonna be done. This is a keyhole. Is it leading to the Coliseum? Oh, one way to find out. Look, I don't know if, uh, no, maybe you do have what it takes. The name's Phil. Just be careful in there. Getting in is one thing, kid. Getting out's another. I'll be careful, Phil. Just remember the secret of success. Four words. One victory at a time. Um, thanks. Be back in a minute. Uh, be back in no time. So it seems like right away we're going to be going right into the keyhole. Hey, this is going to be a short uh, world. Nah. It does take a while if you... Uh, well... Eh, it shouldn't be that bad. But it might still take me a couple episodes just because I want to get everything in here. This is the Coliseum? I picture something a little bit more... roomy. These glitches are getting out of control. I need to help... I need to find Hercules and fast. Hey, what's this piece of paper? A shred of wisdom. I need some Coliseum rules. Glitches in the Coliseum have caused major changes to your abilities and how you fight. Most deck commands, your short card command, all your loot chain, and loot cheat have been been disabled. You can lower difficulty to make uh, to make battles in the Coliseum easier, but more doing so once will reduce the value of the rewards you receive at the end. Hang on, Hercules, I'm coming. Sora, can you hear me? Sure, can, Mickey. Yeah, uh, you, you should see the glitches in here. Yep, the bug readings are off the charts. It's almost like... Gosh, Sora, it looks like the Colosseum turned into a labyrinth. And there's no time to waste. We need to find what's causing all this harm. I agree, but Sora, this time the glitches are affecting you, too. Then I'll just have to improvise. Another thing. I'm picking up some strange uh, features in the world around you. Uh-oh, I don't think my voice will reach you any longer. Good luck, Zora. I'm just pretending that maybe that's the, how it sounds like being distorted. I don't know. Thanks, Mickey. I'll be okay. Now, down to business. Alrighty. 
Layer 1, I believe we have to get through five layers for this world. And I know that uh, after you beat the game, I believe, or if you revisit this world, uh, you can actually... What is it? You can actually um, go through levels, layers, all, all the way up to 30. That's like a final layer that has like a hard boss here. And, ugh, I'm not, I don't think I'm, I'm not doing that. Hey, another scrapper taper. Let's see. And this is what uh, the com cam combat's gonna be. So you press A without selecting any commands from your deck to perform a regular attack. You'll strike first, and then the enemy. Once everyone has a swing, control will return to you. And you can compile commands by pressing X, and once you compile them, press A to combine them all into a single attack, or if you don't want to do that, you know, back out. Compiling your commands results in different attacks than usual. Figuring out what they are is a little trial and error. In the Colosseum, commands will not reload over time. Hit enemies with regular attacks or strike blocks will gradually reload them. Potions and high potions are your best friends. They don't need to reload, and more, more importantly, they'll, uh, they are the only deck commands that you can use outside of combat. Uh-oh, Heartless! So, here is a new battles in this, uh, in this form. They're command-based. Uh, this is like a straight-up turn-based RPG, and I love this. And a good thing, too, I, I don't know if they're going to explain to you, but kind of like Legend of Dragoon or a lot of other RPGs, if you press the attack button just before you attack the enemy, uh, it hurts them even more. And if you defend right before they hit you, then you defend more. So, see? And see, I blocked there. That's because I did it correctly. There you go. So that's fun. I actually like this. However, um, it's going to get good and used to a little bit, but I think you guys are going to be okay. Phew, that was weird. Fighting like that will take some getting used to. But so far, so good. And you see in the top left there, you see those uh, bugs le bug levels. Well, you want to keep it in yellow or you're going to get rid of it fully because um, while it's... E in yellow, uh, the enemies they deal normal damage. However, if it's in red, they deal double damage, and if it's flashing red, which is like all the way up, uh, they'll deal triple damage. So you really want to get lower that bug level, and a good way to do so is destroy those blocks, or if you need to, fight the enemy. Hmm, those blocks over there are in my way. Uh oh, it's another note. And oh, well, actually, they describe the bug level, same thing, uh, well, same thing here. And metal box and danger box in a room transform to normal box or prize box. Okay, so I need to lower the bug level first. And there, oh, there you go. I gotta pick my fights carefully when the bug level is high. And kind of like you know, preemptive strikes in Final Fantasy. You hit them first, you get an extra extra turn. If they hit you, then they get an extra turn. So I want to get that bug level a little bit down before I attack that guy. No, 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 no. Um, actually, no. It looks like I'm not gonna be able to. Uh, I wasn't gonna be I wasn't gonna be able to lower it anyway, so Oh well, so you deal twice the damage. That's not good. But we'll just have to do our breast here, so. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go, that's a good combo. Damn it in block. I'm terrible when it comes to blocking actually, but uh I try. So that's this is what it's actually gonna be consisting of in this world. It's um you know, what else is there to say? It's I, I'm, I'm a fan of it. I, I'm actually a big fan of uh, turn-based RPG, uh, RPGs, um, the old classic style. I think that's why like, I enjoy Final Fantasy X the most, because that's what they brought back, straight up turn-based RPG and, you know, waiting and whatnot. I mean, I like the ATB and everything, like, you know, but at the same time, it's like, I had to think a little bit, but I know you can put that on weight, but I don't know, that's just me. Another one. Uh, okay, same thing with blocking. You press it at the right time, you'll block. And same thing, you press A at the right time, you'll do combos. I'll just give that one a try. Okay. And the good thing too is like sometimes Come on there you go, I lowered a I lowered it a little bit. Oh god, did he hit me or did I hit him? Soldiers! I'm gonna be a little bit stronger. So um if you do these combos correctly, sometimes crap. Sometimes you can do uh special commands or special um Combos, they kick in every once in a while, so eh, it's fine. I don't know if you get different. Uh, ooh, oh jeez, I don't know if you get different um commands or not, or different combos. I mean, but yeah, well, we'll see in a little bit. I, Cause now I forgot. Crap. 
He blocked us, sorry. You're doing okay. The thing is, if you if you keep your combo going uh, after you even defeat an enemy, he'll Sora will go on and attack another enemy. So there's boiling point. So that's there. You go. It's I think it's random when you actually get the uh, in terms of when you actually get um, the finisher combos, but ah uh, whatever. So we're almost done. Oh no. Hmm. I guess I let a little anyone in here. Hate to burst your baklava, kid. But you picked the wrong Lambert to get in. Baklava's really good. If some hero Shremo uh, can't find his way out, who why'd they put you why'd they put you in? Now back to stuff I care about. Hercules! This time I'm kicking his heroic hiney straight into the underworld. But <clears throat> first I think I'll watch Pipsqueak squirm a bit. Oh, I'm getting to enjoy this. Hades. Definitely one of my favorite um, Disney villains. Because I think I seriously think James Woods just pulled off perfectly. Another note. What's this one say? Uh, preemptive attacks, like I mentioned before. So, if you know anything about RPGs, you know all about this. Oh, and if, if you can hold R, you can escape. But, you know my rule. Don't escape from a battle. Unless you're really, really just not going good for you. So, yeah. Always strike first. Makes sense. Let's see if I can lower his gauge just a little bit before I attack him. Crap. Ah, uh, no. Alright, it's not gonna happen. So, what are you gonna do? Alright. Let's take this on. I was thinking of cutting these battles out because I, I was like... Because that's why it kind of stops me from doing a lot of RPGs on my channel because it's like... Not to say like I don't want to feel like putting in the work of editing all the battles out, but... I don't know. It just Sometimes I feel like I want to talk about stuff and if I... RPGs are really getting in the way for me. I don't know. That's why I like I love action RPGs because you know, it's kind of seamless into the combat and whatnot. But ah, uh, whatever. Damn it! Oh crap! The timing is off for me all the time. I don't know why the hell I? Da Come on! Why is it seem like it's going a lot faster than usual? There you go. But eventually, and they give you experience, they will level up. I mean, it's the same thing. You'll level up once uh, you um. I was going to say, you level up once you reach your uh, level up point. Uh, let's get rid of these real quick. There you go. That's always a strategy you want to go for. You know, make sure that you lower the bug level first before you start attacking these guys, if it's possible. If you can't do it, then, you know, you can't do it. There you go. That was a good one. And you see, like, you know, I'm not really healing at all because, you know, they, they heal me after they die a little bit. And... If you're good enough, you really shouldn't have to really worry about healing until you get in the later battles. And you might be wondering, oh man, is this just going to be sore all the time around? We're not going to get any party members? Don't worry. You know, it's, it's RPG. Usually you'll have some party member with you, and eventually we'll have, um, we'll have someone with us. And I think you all know who's going to be. So there you go. We are almost done. And the thing is, so you can go straight for the exit, um, if you can find it. But, you know, of course, I'm going around here because, well, you're going to be able to find rare blocks and a bunch of other prizes. That's strange. I thought I hurt somebody. Heh, <laughs> that's crazy. Who could possibly be in here? Still, this is one doozy of a maze. Almost makes me miss Phil's training. I hope I can find some way to fix the Coliseum. Don't worry. We will do that for you. Huh? Dead end? Maybe not. There's no note here. And because there's various layers, as I mentioned before, we had to find, destroy the blocks and uncover a hidden warp point. And once we do that, we can get the hell out. Time to get smashing, then. I gotta watch out. The bubble in this room is pretty high. Oh boy, yes it is. So that means, if I can, I'm gonna go around a little bit. Avoid... Ah, crap! I was gonna see if I can avoid uh, fighting, but... Eh, that's what, uh, it's what you can do. I know I have these commands, but I just really don't think there's any purpose in me using them right now. I'm... He tells it critical to me, that bastard! There you go. Well, I ended his life, so there you go. Uh... What the hell was I going to say? So... I mean, I, I don't... You have to be careful, because sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm destroying these blocks, yeah, but... It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to lower it enough, so... 
to get the bug level down all the way, but, you know, hey, anything helps. Yep, there you go, that's the warp point right there. So I can get the hell out if I want, but why would I do that? There's still enemies here, and there's still stuff I can break. So you are going down first, and I don't know if you can, um... I don't know if you can, if you can select your enemies or not. No, you can't. It, it, it just sucks the enemy to attack for you, so... Usually, not, it's not a really big deal, so, I mean... Oh, come on, now you're gonna use the combo? I didn't even need it. Ah, uh, I'll bug levels down so it makes things a little bit easier now. Okay, now it's your turn to die. There you go. Makes to, uh, block, good. Good old traditional RPGs. Alright, there's gonna be one more enemy I see on the map there. Afterwards, well, that should be it. And I'll destroy those blocks and we'll be in good shape. Sooner or later, these battles will be going a little bit faster, I promise you. I, I actually... Oh, wait a minute, now I don't know if we'll go faster or not. I don't know if I just want to... I, I just don't know if I want to get rid of these battles, though. I mean, because they, they seem seamless enough. I mean, they don't, they don't take longer than, like, 10, 15 seconds. And I, I know you guys are saying, well, you know, it adds up. But, eh, whatever. Break that. There we go. So everything is cleared up in here, and we can get the hell out. Bingo. Is this the thing that is this the thing the way forward? Move to the next layer. Definitely. Still got a couple more layers to go, and at the end of each layer, there's scores, and you get prizes depending on how what you do. So okay. And it should be a pretty good score. I mean, cleared out all the rooms and everything. So there's that. Another one. So you go through a lot of paper. Between the costumes layers, you'll always find save rooms, which you can record your progress and prepare for the battles ahead. So yeah, you can buy stuff or you know continue on. Let's continue on. Not really. I got no point in buying anything. Although you know there's probably better commands and whatnot. I just never do. Heh. <laughs> Pretty tough for a half point. Just who is a key boy anyway? Him teaming up with hurt the jerk could put a kink in things. Wait, wait, wait. I've got it. If I can just teach the other lost puppy a few new tricks. Oh, Hades, you are on fire. Well, literally, he's on fire. This looks like someplace new. I guess. Well, better keep moving. I'm not going to run into Hercules standing still. There's still another concept they're going to tell us about. I just don't know when. Well, sooner or later, it'll tell us. Don't, don't worry too much about it. Oh, can't get out of here. Nope, can't go over this way. There's a suspiciously fragile looking wall there that I cannot go across, so screw it all. I'll just get rid of this because it's in my way. And there are times it's like, huh, which way can I go? Oh, oh I can't go this way. So, you might be wondering what the hell do I do about that. There's a lot of rooms I can't get. We'll get to those later. Aha, now it's scrap of paper. Licenses, there we go. Inside a Coliseum, you may find special items called licenses by breaking blocks or defeating enemies. Uh, think of these as shrouds from Final Fantasy XIII. I don't know what other way you want to describe it. Like, they're they're buffs, essentially, kinda. You can carry only, you can only carry eight kinds at one time, but there are a wide variety of slices that do just as many wonderful things. Each license will find, uh, can only be used once. Hmm, these here must be licenses. So, it tells you each one. There's Strength L, which uh, doubles damage from all allies. And there's Defense L, halves the damage. This is all for six turns. Uh, Scout, which ensures that you are never back attacked. So, hey, that's something. Break, which uh, destroy all breakable blocks in the area. Hey, that could help if there's a lot of blocks and you want to lower the bug level. Great. Now, now time to find out what they do. And you use them by using L and uh, L and Y or L and B, depending or L and the uh, control pad, whatever, whatever way you want. Uh, and then there's tutorials telling you how to use them, so it's all good. I actually don't want to go. Didn't want to do that just yet. What the hell was I trying to say? Ooh, no, 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 no. Didn't want to destroy those blocks. I don't know if there's any way, any other way to get up here. Or, what the hell? Is there any purpose to me? I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy, it. fight this guy because I don't know how else I'm gonna get down here. Um, what the hell was I trying to say? Yeah, sometimes you don't want to destroy blocks because it could form platforms for you. Oh, good thing you missed. 
And the thing is, you may think, oh, maybe I can just mash the A button or the Y button, you know, when it's time to attack or defend. No, you're, it's usually, it never really works out like that. I mean, that's just simply breaking the mechanics of the game, and, well, it's like, eh. There you go. Oh! And I guess these diamond things, those are, these are the licenses. Um, I can pick it up. So this is Strength L, and it's like, oh, well, do I want to pick it up or not? I, I like Strength L. Um, these licenses will come in handy later on. What is this? Defense L. Defense L and, uh, what is it? Defense L and Strength L will come in handy later on when we actually have to fight tougher enemies uh, in these layers, so... And it can show you, like, oh, when when can I use my, um, my licenses? And the thing is, it's like, wait a minute, what about my commands? Well, as I switch, you can hold L and Y to switch between your commands and licenses. So, easy as that. Come on, oh, damn it. And yeah, I, I, will, I will show off the licenses sooner or later, but once again, as I mentioned, it will be when I actually need them. I don't think it's really necessary to use them. Um, in these types of battles, so we'll be okay for right now. Definitely, I'll take that. Break all these for the first hell of it. There you go. And continue on. So let's, oh, wait a minute, now what do I do? Hmm, dead end. I, I know it's a dead end, I can't do anything now. Oh no. Hmm. Maybe I go back to where I, the way I came. What am I supposed to do? Holy crap! Whoa! How'd you do that? Uh, let me guess. Hercules? Um, that's right. And you are? Finally! I mean, Sora! It's about time I found you! Phil asked me to check up on you. Phil sent you in here? I'm not sure whether to say thanks or sorry. Anyway, nice to meet you, Sora. I guess Phil mentioned I'm the Col Coliseum champ. I trained with him to become a true hero. But you have to be pretty tough yourself if you made it this far on your own. <laughs> well, my Keyblade helped. So you're in here working solo too? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what happened to what turned Coliseum into this. Me too. Somebody's trying to harm this world, and I'm pretty sure the culprit's in here with us. What do you mean harm? The blocks, the maze, everything's fu everything funny going on is connected to one villain. I see, but uh, how do you know that? Um, it's kind of a long story. Story. Sorry, I can't really, um... Ah, no worries. Forget I asked. At least I know what I'm after now. Thanks. So, Sor, as long as we're both in here, what do you say we team up? Sure, if you don't mind. Of course not. Especially now that we've got company. Come on, Sora. Let's sort these guys out and take back the Coliseum. And now we have a uh, party member, so it's team combat. However, uh... If, if it's if Sora dies, it's game over. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if uh, Hercules dies or whatever. Uh, it's us we gotta worry about pretty much. Actually, that happens a lot in a lot of RPGs. Well, I guess. It happens in Final Fantasy XIII. I keep bringing that up because that's a, just simply because I'm watching the LP of it right now. So now that you have more party members, the game kind of balances out by saying, "Oh, you have more party members? Well, I'm adding new more enemies." So, whatever. It's not a big deal. There you go, Herc. But I think it does. It still makes battles, you know, go a little bit. No, it goes, it goes kind of quick, kind of. I don't know. I, I still don't know if I'm planning on uh, getting rid of these uh, battles later on. I mean, I, I don't think it's really necessary. But once again, it could cut down on time. But you know, me being kind of lazy, it's like, eh. There we go. So that's how team combat works, and of course you get a buttload of experience because you're defeating more enemies. Nice work, hero. You're not half bad either. At this rate, we'll be done by dinner. Say, Herc, an idea who our villain is? Who'd want to harm this world? Hmm. A well, one snake definitely slithers into mind. Hades, Lord of Dead. He's got to be wrapped up in this somehow. Okay, well, let's go pay him a visit then. I guess that's the fastest way to find out. He's not around here, I can tell you that much. Let's find a warp point and move on to the next layer. Come on, we need to start bashing these blocks. You figured that out too, huh? You must be faster at it if you caught uh, you must be faster at it if you caught up with me. Mind taking the lead? Of course. And uh ooh, Lady Luck did upgrade, so let's 
good. And defense out. Can I, oh, can I grab it? There you go. So now that we actually have uh, Hercules in our party, he's going to be able to block or smack those um, uh, walls that are in our way. So that's good. However, we'll go ahead and continue the turn-based RPG gameplay in the next episode, guys. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Recoded. I'll see you guys later.